Hi there. Um, it has been a long while. It feels um, it feels a bit different to be recording this, but I really feel the call to do that today. And part of it was just the curiosity. I was like, oh, I think there is something there, something there for me to share. And I feel like it has been um, almost like a puzzle of different pieces coming together for the last few weeks uh, and partly it's a message of course personal for me but again it just felt really interesting to share because it's connected to uh, some of those trailers I have been doing the film reviews conscious film reviews um, and this is just I felt like this was so powerful and I think it might resonate with a lot of people um, who are in therapy and uh, who have been doing therapy or with those who are considering doing therapy I hope it doesn't discourage you to do it but it's just something to be aware of and um, yeah and I just so there was this movie that I watched and Again, when I watched it, it wasn't any intention of it, like, oh, I'm gonna watch this movie so I can, you know, do the review on it. It was really something um, almost mindless, yeah, it was just something I felt like doing in the moment. I felt a little bit, like, tense with work and I felt like I just need something to put my mind away from everything. And the irony of it is that I was making a toast and the movie is called Toast um, and it just came up and it suggested in my list and um, yeah so I saw it and it just resonated it was a um, I like the <laughs> you know the cover I didn't really read much into it I didn't have such a long break as well so I thought well I'm not gonna finish it anyway just let me start and see and I imagined it to be like um, light-hearted comedy movie but it wasn't at all uh, and I mean it was very easy to watch um, but it wasn't exactly light in a sense that um, it depicts a lot of trauma and I think that's why it got me thinking about psychotherapy and especially with the contrast um, with a movie taking place um, I can't remember maybe 70s 80s um, it just everything was all dated but I can't remember the year or so but you know I would imagine that therapy wasn't as common and um, widespread at the time so and just watching the boy to go through so much trauma it just made me feel like oh wow like that's a lot and in my head <laughs> I almost imagined him in a therapy office and I think that's what made me draw that connection and what made me realize that oh um, that desire of us to understand everything to know oneself is sometimes actually like you know pathologizing and I think there are certain gifts that we have because of our trauma and I don't think it's something I don't think we necessarily need even to connect the two for us to embrace those gifts you know but when we do connect the two which often happens in therapy I think it's so important to continue embracing those gifts right um, and I guess for me personally, it's just some examples that I thought about now. I think I I used to have a video camera when I was young. And I remember I used to do those reports. Like we used to just record, me and my brother, we would record um, some scenery and just make a report about it. It will just come up with a movie and like role play it. Um, but... The interesting part of it, I think, if I were to analyze it, I think part of it is because we were bored and we were brought on those trips with family where we just had nothing to do. Um, and 
you know, and I think what I found a lot, at least in my experience with therapy, is creating that narrative around it. And the narrative that surely, yes, it can validate your emotions and feelings and help you to work through them. Like, how did you feel? How you felt so lonely and abandoned and like all that stuff and maybe like neglected to an extent. But I think creating such a negative narrative around it um, takes away something from it because, and also makes something wrong because now I'm starting to come to that realization it's okay to be bored. When I'm bored, I'm exploring a lot. Like yesterday, um, which was Christmas day and uh, I don't celebrate Christmas. Well, I do, but it's a different day for my family and tradition and uh, so the 25th of December is just a usual day for me and because everyone is busy with their families, um, I was just at home and just, you know, not really doing anything, not really having any plans and because I had like more days off, I kind of wanted to just not do anything productive and there were a few times during the day where I was just like, oh, I know what to do with myself. Um, but it was good because it led me to do some really like cool stuff. It made me experiment with mixing music, which is something I've never done. It made me like, you know, there was a lot of different stuff that I haven't done. I started playing video games, which is also something I haven't done in a while. And that was just something like uncovering for my inner child. And you know, and this is where I really don't like that whole um, spiritual judgment or like of something not being spiritual enough. I think we can find answers everywhere. Like I was playing a game and something came to me through playing that game. I feel like we have messages everywhere. And it doesn't mean that mindlessly kind of, you know, not taking control of your life and just... Um, because everything can be an access and it doesn't matter whether that's playing a video game or whether that's like, you know, um, meditating because everything can become an escape. Wow, <laughs> I'm going here with a completely different direction and a different message, but let me bring it back. Um, what I really wanted to emphasize in that movie, it was amazing to see somebody to go through so much trauma, but also find that gift in that trauma and you know, it's we can't always say what came before chicken and neck, right? And I think we often don't remember, right? You know, with our childhood. Did my interest in video really arise? Because it has always, like, I always had it, and maybe I have somewhere that natural, um, you know, interest in it, or maybe even talent in something that I just haven't yet developed fully or looked into. Or is it just something that it was completely coincidental because um, my parents didn't have time to spend with me and I was just left there alone and the video camera was there. Like, you know, it's a very narrative that you create around it and I'm not saying that everything needs to be packaged in those positive um, things, but I think when it comes to our gifts or something that we see ourselves being drawn to and something that you know, brings us joy in the present moment, even if it's connected to trauma in the past, or like something that happened in your life that might have not been so positive. I feel like it's okay to package it in a positive way because right now as I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what, in some ways, I'm grateful for the fact that my parents weren't around so much and I have been left alone in certain moments because it really helped me to develop a certain part of me that I know and I can see many people are developing much later in life you know and it's not like oh I got ahead <laughs> no not in that way but I definitely see it gave me something and I kind of feel like I want to embrace it and I just see it too much these days that whole pathologizing of things and I think it creates even more fear of living and it creates even more paralysis of like you know yeah like it's like oh I fully know myself now I recognize all those things about me and then 
what now kind of especially if they're so pathological and I guess it really depends on the type of therapy on the therapist and I think that's something another message that if you've never done therapy but you're thinking about it I would definitely say that it's something to consider um you know like in terms of the type of therapy because I feel like too easily and I have done it too ironically maybe because I believed in it so much maybe because I have some background as well in psychotherapy I was just like so passionate about it um, that to me it was easily kind of yeah let me fully subscribe to that worldview and I think we always kind of have to uh, think critically and uh, we of course we always been guided as I just said and I'm not trying to like you know we are being guided and maybe that's the journey that I had to go through and to learn and I kind of feel like maybe I am because um, I have considered being therapist myself and I think now even more so because of this experience so maybe that was exactly the experience that I needed to have um, but nonetheless I do feel like it's very important to share and then um, I just stumbled upon I didn't stumble upon it, I guess, because I was bored yesterday, so I had all this time and I was like, let me get in touch with some things that I like to do and something that I really love to do. Um, I really love to read all these like philosophical academic articles because I was in academia for a long time and I just remembered the feeling and I was like, oh, it's been such a long time, like, I want to get back to that. And I just found this first... Um, the first free PDF I could find on Google by Michel Foucault and um, it just, you know, it just felt like I'm just here trying to like, you know, chill uh, honestly just remembering random things that I like video game, this, this, this but it's almost like everything is like perfectly coming together in divine order and that would never stop to amaze me um, so yeah, and then um, came across this article and I found it super interesting um, because he talks about, well, he does talk about power a lot, but um, he talks about pastoral power. And um, what I found interesting about it, not just to the borrowed from Christianity, and I'm ironically reading it on Christmas Day, but, uh, but no, um, jokes aside, um, he talks about it being individualizing power and what I really loved the line from it was that this form of power is salvation orientated. It cannot be exercised without knowing the inside of people's minds, without exploring their souls, without making them reveal their innermost secrets. It implies a knowledge of the conscious, conscience. And ability to direct it and it's linked with the production of truth the truth of the individual himself and when I was reading it um, I just found it to be really really interesting that how much it applies again to psychotherapy and that just made me again to question that desire for knowledge and what does that knowledge means and what does it mean to know inside someone's mind and to share that with someone uh, and again I'm not saying that you know it's necessarily a bad thing I'm not saying that at all I'm just trying to say that there is a lot of power involved in there and I think this is precisely why it's important um, to think critically about it and to be and it's the right when you with too right because if you're struggling mentally and you really need help it feels like it's hard to make certain decisions or to think about like, if you're with I guess was it borderline right but when you struggle with a kind of dialectical behavior, when like you know, making decisions, ways and pro and cons, which is something I can relate to, it's very hard to 
do that. So that's the actual irony of it, that on the one hand, um, on one hand, it's something that you can you need to choose carefully, on the other hand, it's hard to do so. So, in one way, you're always being guided. And, you know, maybe there is a journey that you need to walk through, but if you are watching this, I do believe you're also being guided and maybe that's something that you need to hear, that's something... Maybe something else in this video has resonated and was a message for you. A uh, piece of the puzzle that has been coming together for weeks. Uh, maybe months because I feel like that's how the universe works and sometimes we don't know that until much later it's almost like it drops there there and there and then you only see the whole picture um, a long time after thank you for watching um, it's been awesome sharing this I really do enjoy this and uh, I do hope to start making this. I'm going to make an intention for New Year to start making this much more often. Um, if you like it, please do like it. Um, but also comment. I'm curious to hear your experience with therapy. I'm curious to hear if this resonated. Yeah, it's a really big passion of mine and a topic that I'm still exploring and I feel like my puzzle feels like it's almost came together, but I'm still missing a few pieces, so thank you.